everybody, how's it going? Um, I wanted to share some helpful organizing tips uh, for you that might be helpful um, if you are looking to reorganize your closet, some clothes, um, things like that, or if you happen to live in a small space, maybe you live in a small apartment, or you're like me and you're doing tiny life or RV life. Um, so these are some methods and things that have really helped me over uh, many, many years. I actually um, probably in the past I could say like seven years, I probably moved over 15 different times, um, probably more than that to be honest with you. And many of those times when I was moving, um, I was literally just moving the stuff that I used every day. So clothes and stuff like that. I didn't necessarily have um, a dresser or furniture that I was moving into spaces that I was using and um, I needed to be able to move easily because I was moving every couple months or something like that just for various different reasons. And so now that um, I've been doing tiny life and RV life for almost a year, um, I have pared down a great deal on the clothes and things that I do have. Um, now I probably haven't pared down as much because I still do have access to utilizing my parents garage. Um, and obviously when I don't have that anymore I'm gonna purge a lot of things right now we can't really purge because everything's closed Goodwill can't even take our uh, donations so I wanted to share some things with you that have been really helpful for me that over time I've helped to uh, perfect for it to work really well uh, for small spaces and things like that so I hope you find this helpful and happy organizing Okay, so please excuse the fact that I'm in my bikini and shorts. It's really nice outside today, and um, this quarantine of sitting in sweatpants for days on end, I need to keep myself motivated, so this is what I'm doing. So sorry, babe, I'm in my bikini for everyone to see. But if we were at the beach or I still live in San Diego, I'd probably be like this every single day. Anyway, so um, I was actually in the process of putting away all of my laundry, and I felt like it was a good opportunity for me to kind of show you how I put away my laundry, um, how I organize everything. So hopefully you can see, maybe I'll tilt it a little bit. Um, I have a bunch of different bins on the bed. I have different sizes um, and they all have different types of clothes in them and everything. So the first little bins that I have are these plastic ones. I actually got them from the dollar store. So if you're ever looking for a very inexpensive or you need like a quick um, alternative for just putting things away, um, the dollar store is a great place to find bins, um, both like small-ish, medium-sized ones, but also um, containers for drawers and things as well. And maybe I'll show you some things like that. So um, this first little set of bins, I have three like these and I actually have one of these in my bathroom too which if you saw my most recent IG post then um, you probably saw there um, my hand towels like the washcloths and stuff are like rolled up in there and so I keep them for smaller things so I use these all over the place um, but um, in the RV specifically I don't have a dresser I don't have any drawers whatsoever so actually that's a lie there are two little tiny they're like this deep and like not they're just not very big so they're not sensible for anything really and so I just kind of keep um, like batteries and chargers and like miscellaneous jewelry and stuff that can't hang on my jewelry hanger that's what I keep in those drawers so other than that I don't have access to any drawers so all all of my folded clothes are in bins. Um, and then I do have um, jackets and shirts and dresses on hangers, and that's all that I have hung. So um, I wanted to show you guys first these little ones. Like I said, um, they're, they're not very big, but I have three different ones for different things, um, mainly because there's not as much that I need to put in here, so I don't necessarily need these big old bins. So, um, in this first one I have kind of like my shorts, um, my like workout shorts, so like my Nike shorts or just comfy like lounge around the house shorts. And so if you notice, the way that I fold them is I fold them so that they're 
bring out these ones because they're kind of fun. So that they're just like, I just fold them in half. Let me see. I just fold them in half. And then I like filing cabinet, put them in the bin. So that when you look in, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of shorts in here. Um, but whenever I pull them out, I'm not like messing up the whole bin because I can just pull the exact ones that I want out. So this works really well um, because you can see everything, but then also um, it, it just keeps it really organized and you're not messing it up when you're trying to like get one from the bottom of the bin and yank it out. Um, in a similar fashion, I do that with my socks as well. So this is my sock bin. Um, on, since it's been cold in winter, which I actually pulled out my summer clothes since it's getting warm, but I have some like thicker long socks over here, which you can see, um, take up a little bit more room. So, um, I'll probably take these out. Sometimes I leave a couple cause I just like to like have some comfy socks around the house. And then, um, the rest of them I have again in that file type system so that, um, they're straight up and down. So I have all of my white socks and then I... I'm kind of anal sometimes um, that I try and color code my stuff. So I go from darkest to lightest, um, things like that. So black, gray, like dark gray, light gray. Um, so like these socks, for example, are dark gray. All you do is take your socks, lay them on top of each other, fold them in half, and then put them in the space that they need to go. So super easy. Um, and it also helps like there are certain socks that I do wrap up. So like these are like those no show, like the little shorty ones that you wear with lower shoes. So these ones I do wrap up like normal socks and then those just kind of go on top because I wear those a lot with like my Converse and stuff like that. So, but this is kind of how I organize my socks. Um, same thing with sports bras. As you'll notice, there's kind of a trend. I like to do that. Um, but I only have so many sports bras. The ones that have, um, like the padding cups in them or whatever. Um, I don't want to like mess those up and mush them and everything. So I just kind of like one behind the other so that it keeps help. It helps to keep the shape of them. And then for other ones that are like not a big deal, they're just kind of the regular ones. I just take the straps, fold them back, and then either you can fold them in half, but since this is not a very deep thing, I actually fold it into thirds like this and then file it in there like so. So there you go. And I have, like I said, all the ones with the padded cups and like shaped cups, and then I have a couple without. So those are um, those first little baskets and I'm actually going to go put them away. Um, I actually keep them in the cabinets that are above my, um, uh, above my sofa in the living room of my RV because up here, um, I keep other bins, um, with my leggings and my jeans. Um, I did initially have these up there. But every time I would be getting ready and I would make my bed, um, I had so many up there because they were smaller so I could fit more, I would have to stand on my bed and mess up my bed that I just made. So I stopped doing that. Um, but yeah, so those are those. So I'm going to go put those away and then I'll show you the other ones that I do. So my second set of bins are a little bit bigger. Um, I guess I could have showed you, but the other ones are like, yay big. So these ones are a little bit bigger. Um, I actually have a set of three. They're different sizes. Um, I got them. The other one is behind me and it holds like my books and stuff on my nightstand. Um, I got these. Um, it was like a three set at Ross, I think. Um, and they're super inexpensive. So if ever you're looking for like cute decorative bins, um, I used to use one of these to hold Gemma's toys, but since it's fabric, it'd get kind of hairy and gross. So I switched to the, one of those plastic ones that I showed you a second ago. Um, so these are a little bit bigger. Uh, these are what I keep my um, regular bras and my chonies in um, just because I have more of those. Um, right now, my chony basket is very organized. It's not always that way, let me tell you. So don't feel discouraged if you're like, man, this girl's nuts. Her underwear basket is like all 
organized and whatnot. I'm like losing my words. Um, so in a similar fashion to my sports bras, I do the same thing. Um, you can kind of see, I don't have very many because, um, I am kind of basic and I just wear like normal colors or whatever. Um, I might have a couple that are in the washing machine still, but I just kind of put them so that the cups all, uh, support one another. And I just put them from kind of a neutral color and then go Roy G. Biv for everything to black. And then I have like my sticky bra kind of on the side. I have um, like a bra, bralette thing just folded up on the side. So that's my bra basket. Um, like I said, I'm sure I have other ones. They're just in the wash um, that just aren't in here but they all fit so all my bras fit in here there are like no other place that I put them um then next is my underwear basket and as you can see this one is a little bit smaller um it, the only reason I did that is because bras they just take up more space and they're taller um with the underwear basket the reason I picked a bigger basket is just so that during those weeks and stuff where I do laundry and I don't have time to organize them really well, um, it's not a big deal if I throw them in. But usually, minimally, what I do is like the front half of the basket, I'll do one type of underwear and on the back side, I'll do like boy shorts and like bikinis. So um, this is kind of how I have it um, organized for you to see. So. Sorry, I'm showing everyone my underwear. Maybe this is weird. Um, but what I do is like for example like these are like my comfy underwear that I Just like lounge around in and like they're maybe not that cute But I just like stack them all on top of each other like this and then Fold them like this into thirds and then I just kind of tuck the bottom like so so I have like cute underwear so cute underwear you know everyone if you're a girl and you're watching this which I hope that most of the people who are watching this are women uh, I mean guys put away clothes too you own clothes too but you don't have the same type of underwear as us um, but you know like girls like you have period panties like the ones that you've had for a while that like you don't really want to get rid of them because every time at least once a month you like don't want to mess up your good ones so we have the not so cute period panty side and then we have the like other side like the nice panties that we don't want to mess up so that's how I have my panty drawer um, organized uh, this is my t-shirt basket I actually need to go through this because I have a crap ton of t-shirts um, I mean just when you're in a sorority in college I have literally a enormous box of t-shirts that they mean something to me and I really would like a blanket made or something like that which if you do that hit me up let me know um, but I just have so many t-shirts from everything I played sports um, just all kinds of stuff so these are my t-shirts obviously um, very similar fashion in the way that they are organized there's a couple of um, rows of them I don't know if you can see it but I have all my like white t-shirts on the bottom um, and then it goes like you know green blue and then the ones that I've worn um, more recently are just over here um, so usually I'll go through them and like long sleeve ones that I don't really need um, for snowboarding and whatnot I'll get rid of but yeah so clearly this is overflowing with t-shirts I need to go through it but it works that's how I put them in and they stay there this wire basket I'm pretty sure I got it at like Walmart or Target or something I've had it for years like years and years and years I'm sure I have a couple other ones like this laying around somewhere um, with other things in it but it works really well um, on that side of my bed on that closet um, it's actually much deeper so this is what I place down there mainly because like what I wear t-shirts for are either going snowboarding going to sleep or like hanging out around the house and that's it so why I have so many t-shirts I don't know but I do and so this will be one of the things that I go through a little bit more later okay so the last couple things that I have I have these baskets and I actually have 
three of these baskets. Um, one of them is in the little closet that's next to my sink. Um, and it holds like my hairbrush, um, different things for getting ready underneath my coats and stuff like that. So with the other two baskets, um, I think, honestly, I think I got these at Big Lots. Um, so my top recommendations for where to find inexpensive, cute, functional baskets are Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Burlington sometimes has them, but usually not as many. Usually you'll have better luck at Ross. Um, and Big Lots. Uh, I've had some people be like, I've never even walked into a Big Lots. And um, every like things that you'll find in there are not the greatest quality, but for little organizational knickknacks and stuff like that, like these are pretty cute. They're like woven baskets and then there's like a liner that if I wanted to, I could take it out and wash it or change it out. And then they have handles on either side. Um, I've had these for a while and they're super functional. Um, I got them in a neutral color because I didn't know where I was going to use them or anything like that. And so these ones um, are almost the same size as the bra one. Just maybe a little, little skinnier. Not much. Um, so with these, I use these two. I have two of them that I use for my clothes. I use these for my jeans and my leggings and like sweats and yoga pants and stuff like that. So again, like I mentioned, I don't utilize um, and I don't have a dresser. I have to find an alternative. And so these are actually what go in the cabinet up here above. Um, the reason I put them there is because they're bigger and they're longer and because they have the handle and I'm kind of short, like when I open it, I can easily like grab the basket, pull it out, take out whatever pants that I'm going to be using and then I can put it back and it has like a wire frame so I can easily put it back. Whereas the plastic ones, they're so small, um, I had to physically climb on the bed to get them. So with these, um, I organize these um, in that same file method. So this is my um, this is my leggings, sweatpants, sorry there's a glare, um, basket. And so what I do is also as a side note, a lot of this stuff and helpful things and like at least the way that I've changed my folding methods was from um, watching, oh crap, what's that? Um, from like, like the Konmari method on Netflix. So highly recommend it. I purged a bunch of my stuff the first time after I watched that show um, and it's been super helpful ever since. So with my leggings, for example, I, you know, fold them in half like so. Then I fold them in half again. And then I leave a little bit of room at the top, fold it a third of the way, and then down. That way they're not too tall and it's like dense enough that when I take it out or it stays, um, it, it keeps its shape and it doesn't mess up. So that's how I have all my leggings. I fold my jeans the exact same way. So these are my jeans. I have my black jeans, my little burgundy red ones, my orange ones, my blue jeans. I did have a third pair of jeans, but I ripped them the other day. <laughs> when we were doing demo, it's pretty funny. I caught it on camera because I was doing a time lapse. Um, and so yeah, so these are all of my like jean type pants and they all go in there. So that is how I organize all of my clothes that are folded. I hope that's helpful to some people. Um, like I said, I have utilized using bins for a crazy, crazy long time. Um, mainly, like I said, because I had to find something that worked really well for moving a lot and it was just such a pain in the butt to um, take things out of a dresser and then have to have like a like put it in a laundry basket or in a suitcase and then you have to have a place where you keep a suitcase so that you can fit a suitcase and then if I 
I for the longest time and like now that Dave and I got a truck like prior to that for the last 15 years I have not had a truck so any moving that I've done I've had to get friends um, or rent a truck to be able to move any furniture so that was a big reason why um, I kind of went this route so if ever you're in that situation it's been really helpful um, I hope this wasn't just like super boring uh, to watch me organize and put away my clothes I hope it's helpful um, I hope these are things that you can implement in your life and if you have better suggestions of how I could improve my methods that would be awesome and I am totally open to hearing it so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys have an awesome day and happy organizing bye